Hello, it's Roger Mudfoss University. Today we're going to go over what I'm going to say is the attachment between bones is a ligament and that I believe is a ligament. And that ball with all those little balls sticking out of it is exactly what would happen in this ligament attachment. You see that ball hole there with all those little holes, little round tuberosities? It's the same thing there. They could take that and plug it right into here. Now, what is down going into the ground? That is the part that comes over and holds the other bone so they can move around and jiggle and do all the things that you do and contort and all the business. And it has a little link between it. Now, there's a place called Krishna's Butterball that is a similar situation. It doesn't have these balls sticking out of it, but it's, it's all locked into the ground. It was so precarious, they thought it would fall. They took, I think it was like 10 or 11 elephants to try to push it over they couldn't push it over it's still there today now these things are tough as hell they keep your bones together and i'll show you what it looks like in the anatomical drawing but you could see this is this is what it is it's one of these it's a, t a ligament you see all these little tendon balls like you saw on that big ball the big ball was in this bone and it has a little strap like you saw going down into a ball that is in the ground but it would be in another bone that's a ligament Tendons are different. They, they go from muscle to bone and across your abdomen, your torso, and all that business. They're tight. They're tough and uh, tendinous materials that go long distances. These go right between bones. They show a big, long thing. They're not long like that. They're little short things. But they are made out of these kind of balls. And every ball, every different area has a different type of ball. You see, they, they show this type, this type, this type. This, they're different chemistry in those balls and there's different internal structures in those balls and and, and I've seen them all in mud fossils you ever hear a Ultima Thule shows its lumps in latest images from New Horizon guess what it is it's a tendon I mean a, a ligament attachment there's the balls just like it goes in that cavity just like I showed you there's the attachment and that would be inside the b other bone and 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 i have found that comet 67p is also a tendon part and there are many of them and the meteors and comets coming into our region and into our actual atmosphere and crashing are also body parts all right you see what i have in my hand here this is a mud fossil lung and if you look inside of it, it's loaded with red iron that is iron guess what happens when they come through our atmosphere that is also a lung that is also a lung when it came through our atmosphere it smelted and the red blood that was in here was all that was left all the organic stuff was smelted out and if you look very carefully you can see the red blood signatures all in these little the entries that go into the alveoli which are these holes and they also, mine also has the same holes running throughout it, exactly the same. It's a lung. Now, I have found other ones that, yeah, and the iron, believe it or not, I mean, it just, it just happens. It, the whole thing came through the atmosphere and it heated up so much that all the organic volatile stuff just burnt off. And what we were left with was the iron remnants smelted down and it's iron. So there's a lot to be talked about here. So we just saw that new asteroid is is a body part. This is a body part. And Comet 67P is as well. All right, if you have any disagreement with the fact that that big iron lung was a lung, this also is either a lung or a heart, but it is absolutely biological, and that is blood so don't tell me you can't get blood out of a rock out of an iron rock out of a meteorite out of a comet out of an asteroid they're all the same they're all biological the earth is biological saturn's moon iapetus is a tendon anthesis ball right, i'm sorry that's just a fact now this is sliced across iron meteorite they etch it with acid and it shows off the patterns of the 
crystallization, but it's the same process as the other big one that's out. I believe that's somewhere down New York City. I can't remember where that other big long one is, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's on display frequently, or I mean, I think all the time, but this stuff is real. All right, now I've been following that Rosetta mission since it started. This video that I did here goes back over, well, it's almost like three, four years ago, 20, I don't know, three years or more ago, or over three years ago. And this is Comet 67P, and this describes everything about it and shows all of the special little details and all of the organic signatures and all of the tissue types that are in here, the striations of the tendons, the bundles of the tendinous material as it's cut. Uh, and then I go through all of the anatomy that's in the true anatomy that describes everything they're seeing. Then I show the ones that I have here showing those little pinchy bundles. You go up here and look at it. It shows the comma and all the 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 slabs of tendinous material that I have here in mine, and then I go out and I show all the way up through the, the tendinous um, material where it interfaces with muscles, and it goes out through the muscles and the abrupt transitions in these, uh, which I talk about all this stuff, and then it comes out into the comment and shows how it's the, the, that, that this is, these little things are like teeth they hold in it's ripped away from the bones the bones are gone on these things the same thing with that other comment very very interesting and and i have another one here it's the same thing i have one here it's identical that's the ball and that's the stalk i hold it up against that one you can't tell the difference this is mine right here and this is the one that's on 67p it's the same structure you see it <laughs> you see here's mine see Watch, you see that one there? And that's mine, same thing. Back it up a little bit, I don't know where I got it. Anyway, you got to come up here and see that. So this is the first one. Comet 67P, Mysterious Features Discussed, Life, Comma. Oh, here it is up here, hold on. You see right up there? You go up on YouTube and um, look that up. Of course, it's on my channel. And now that's the first one. Now, and that was done, like I said, three, four. I, I followed that thing when they first saw it. I said, I know what that is. And it was exactly what I thought it was. It was a, a tendon emphasis. Okay, this was the follow up to that. Oh, by the way, that other one is not on the Mud Fossil University channel. It was on my old channel, Mud Space Fossils. But anyway, uh, this one here, I'm showing the entire chemistry of all of these huge creatures and why this is really true and it is really true right and it was called it's called up there mud fossil whoops what I got mud fossil history written in stone and this shows these giant stone balls are these little tiny things you see that but when you look at them up here on the earth that's the size of them see this here is that and this was the tendon balls that are out in space I showed you that. I showed you all that stuff. Anyway, you come up here and look at it. Mud Fossils History Written in Stone. All right. Mud Fossil University. I, 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 I never say anything that I don't back up with. With something of real substance. I'm not talking about just guesses and, and, and speculation and, oh, it must have been this or it couldn't have been that. No. You see what you think? Have a nice day. Thank you.